We are going to attempt to get Jordan Alvarez as quickly as possible, but we have to go through this entire timeline and do all of these moments in order to get that card. Taking a first look at all these moments, the good thing is the difficulty is veteran for pretty much all of them. You're going to want to use your best god squad to get uh, a lot of these missions done because a lot of them actually require to use your team and not just complete a moment with a sin like individual player or anything like that. Taking a look at the timeline, you get cards along the way. I'm going to use the out of this card i don't i don't care i have bias towards robin roberts he's got 99 velo for some reason on this card i don't know i don't know what it is but something about this card makes me really want to use it for the rest of season two and if he doesn't do well we just take him out whatever now justin turner on the other hand not a huge fan of his swing but we're not going to worry about it and then of course yordan his stats just look amazing i mean any yordan card we get is usually a pretty good one even his live series card you might want to put him at dh if you use him but he could still play even in even in season two this late in the year so everything about this card is awesome. I wish his speed was a little bit higher than 66, but that's pretty generous for someone like Jordan Alvarez anyway. Uh, ton of quirks, all the good hitting quirks. This is like everything you want in a card. This card is going to be amazing. All right, so like I said, I just wanna make sure I have a good God Squad. You wanna use a squad that you're just comfortable with against the CPU. It doesn't have to be like, you know, all platoon players or switch hitting and stuff like that. If you're comfortable with lefties and righties against righty pitchers and lefties, go ahead and use your best squad and uh, just rock with that, you know? So I'm gonna go with this squad. I've been using it in online a lot. I've been liking the way I'm hitting with them. So we'll just stick with them. Let's just attack these moments, rough shot right through the gauntlet and, uh, you know, start with the first one, pitch three innings, don't give up a run, straight out four batters. All right, so the pitching moments obviously aren't as fun, but sometimes they're a little bit easier. So we have to make sure we get three innings, uh, straight out four batters without giving up a run. On veteran, let's just try to knock that as quickly as possible. Let's see how fast we can get this done too. All right, so we'll go ahead and start our stopwatch. And there it goes. All right, three innings, four batters, four strikeouts, no runs. So I haven't used this card at all, ever, this pitching card. I think it's um, Andy Cooper, not not familiar with him at all. He's new to this year, oh, Negro League card. Inside. I've seen a couple of like, players online use him or on YouTube and stuff, like Ochev and things like that. Hey. Uh, I don't know how he plays, one, but one. I heard it's not phenomenal. So probably not worth spending your stubs on if you already like the pitching stack hey. you got. All right. Hey. There's one strikeout. Veterans should be easy to, to get strikeouts on, so hopefully this doesn't take too long. We'll get this done quickly. 0-2, I'm not throwing anything to hit. Right. Is Andy Cooper, why does that seem like a TV star name or something? Ball, that um, am I thinking of someone familiar? I am a little curious to see who the, is on the lineup for the other team. It's probably a bunch of names that we don't know. Plus a couple of Negro League players that are actually in the game, but I don't want to waste time. Okay, maybe... Maybe swing at that. Howard Perry. We got a full Howard pass. Perry. Three, two. That, all, that also seems like a TV star or like an athlete or some ah. some sort. All right, we got the four sure I got. Just got to pitch through the rest of the next inning and this inning. Okay, let's make that play. On to the next moment, see what that is. Oh. That one was pretty easy. Pack there. Each moment's worth five XP towards this program. Leonard, the line drive machine. Buck Leonard posted 385. All right, you see the slash line there. Two extra base hits, let's get into it. Now, a lot of these moments are probably gonna be at like old ballparks, and some of them are huge. I know one of them's at like the old Forbes field with the stands in the right field, so. In the shadows, too. I can't see anything. Is that gonna find grass? I think he's flagging that one down. All right, I'm restarting this one. Most of you know who've played moments before, if you don't get up to a hot start, you might as well restart the moment just to maximize your bats in the game before you, you, you know, your innings run out. Um, we might find grass. Nah. You know once that outfielder stops moving, the other one's gonna catch it. All right, there we go. Took us nine minutes. All right, the good news is the shadows do get better as the moment goes along, so maybe it's worth keep going, even if you don't get it on the first at bat. That's a great hit, but probably not gonna be an extra base hit. And uh, he's back here. It looks a little bit better. I just missed that. That's not going to go. I got to beat this out for two. Time out. Oh, okay. I guess it hit, hit the pole or something. I don't know. Ground rule double. Let's move on. All right. This one's going to be Josh Gibson. New card this year. They claim he's you know, the best hitter in baseball once they added his stats from the Negro League into the MLB or all of baseball and everything. He's won a triple crown in that league. 
Let's see what he can do. I haven't used this card yet. He is the World Series award for online play. We got to get three hits and one home run on veteran. Probably at a f you know less than favorable field to get home runs. Yeah, I forgot he has that loud ass sound off his bat no matter what the contact is, unless it's perfect for some reason. It's kind of weird. All right, that might be a pitch worth taking to right field because left field is a is a bomb. He's got max power, but it's still gonna be tough. Might be a good idea for you guys to look for something on the outside part of the plate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out. Ah, wow, it's saying I didn't get under that enough, or maybe too much. I don't know. Yeah, 90 off the bat's not gonna do it here. We need like at least 103 exit velo, or just a really good launch angle to right field. All right, well, let's take a hit for now. You know what? I'm starting to look at it. I think the left field scoreboard, it's possible. You just got to get it up in the air. You can't hit a laser beam out there. It's going to die. Got to get a good launch angle. There we go. That'll do. 115.29. All right, bottom third. We already have a hit and the home run. I'm just going to get one more hit. Get down. Perfect. Right back up the middle. Fundamentals, baby. On to the next one. All right, so 13, almost 14 minutes in, we got these three moments done. The next one's Bill Foster. Uh, another new card this year. We got to pitch two innings with him, get four strikeouts, and do not give up a run. So it's almost very similar to the first moment, just two innings instead of three. So far, we've only restarted the moments like six or seven times. Not ideal, but it could be worse. It could always be worse, man. All right. Got to focus on getting strikeouts so we don't run out of outs. I would have to strike out the next four batters, so we're going to restart this one. I love this park. It doesn't play very well on, like, you know, online game modes, but very cool looking park, Southside Chicago. Ball. There's one. The preview on the pinpoint, but I still can't get it down. All right, there we go. Got to make sure you keep an eye on when those circles close. Because sometimes the tracer isn't always like perfectly accurate. So when the top circle closes and the bottom circle closes on that pinpoint, and we're gonna swing and miss there. He's got uh, low energy, which is gonna make it harder to strike out, but we gotta keep pushing. There we go. All right, got the strikeouts. Just can't give up a home run here. Very nice. All right, 17.45. Win one game. So this one, uh, we got to play the Giants. They overcame a 6-2 deficit going to the eighth inning. So we'll be down 6-2 on veteran difficulty. I'm treating this as if I somehow gave up six runs in a conquest game and just need to focus up a little bit to get some runs. I mean, we have the best cards in the game. A little under it. That's going to go, though. The, the veteran difficulty forgiveness works there. Very nice. It helps when they put fastballs right down the middle, man. It's got to get down, right? We got to get two there. All right, tie and run coming up to the plate. Still in the eighth inning. That's good. Yeah, I remember people being very scared of Adam Adovito in this game. He had, like, one good card. I mean, he's had a couple of good cards, but there was only one that really played, like, amazing every time you put him in there. It's like a right-handed Chris Sale delivery. And, uh, yeah, it's, that's a tie game. It's almost automatic, except we just get a single there with all that power and contact. I don't know. I'm still like 50 50 on Scherzer in terms of uh, using him online. You know, I don't know. Ro I think Roy's the best pitcher in the game. Haven't used Santana yet. I heard he's probably the next best or one of the best. Oh, does that have enough lift on it? I don't know. It's going to die. Jorge has been unbelievable online gameplay, man. One of my last games, I think it was like. He had three home runs, and I struck out with him to lose the game 19 to 18 or something. Just unbelievable game of Hall of Fame against a good player. It happened. <sighs> we missed that one. We'll get the run home, but we'll hit a home run here to make it a little more cushion. Obviously, Lindor's good enough to... All right, we're good. Damn, I've never seen him get mad like that. Weird thing for SDS to put in there for, for Lindor, but all right. We got, we got another one done. We're one away from getting Robin Roberts. We have to pitch three innings with Bob Feller without giving up a run. This should be pretty easy. Now, this is going to chew some time up on the clock, though, because Bob Feller's windup is, is pretty long. Well, that's not a good start, Bobby. 
You know what? This is good though because he now he's pitching out of the stretch, which makes it a lot quicker. Maybe I'll just walk someone every inning to make it go faster. I just like trying to use cards that not everybody using. You know, this Bob Feller is going to be a little more usable. Oh, it's a three inning game, so stamina is actually already down. Aye. Goodbye, Rizzo. And goodbye, Oswaldo. Three. And goodbye, Verdugo. Three. 30 minutes. And. All right, so it took us 30 minutes to get Robin Roberts. That is less than halfway done, but we still get him. Let's go ahead and add him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, six moments done in 30 minutes. Robin Roberts, we got to score three runs off of him in three innings. It's a rocket. All right, two, two more of those. I know I'm going to post this when I'm done, and I'm going to probably title it like how long it takes to get Jordan, but knowing full well there's probably people out there who already have him and got him got the entire program done in 30 minutes or less. But we're still going to we're going to do that. Finish him, Devers. Goodbye. I like kind of jumped on that one. I don't know why. Dude, I love Devers, man. I love when he gets a good card in this game. All right, next one, Ernie Banks, seven total bases. Everything's veteran difficulty. Shouldn't be that bad. Now, when you look at Ernie Banks' elbow, you could probably like catch the ball and scoop it like a high lie move. You know that sport where they have the giant scoopers on their arms and they... I don't even think Ernie needs a bat to do that. He could just... I'll blow that thing out there. That's gotta go. Yep. All right, cool. That's five total bases, so we need a double. Uh, 96, 31. I've seen, yep, that's gonna go. I've seen less go out, even at these ballparks. All right, 35 minutes. I don't think I'll get it in under an hour, but it'll maybe like an hour 15. If we can get it under an hour 15, I'll be happy with that. Brooks Robinson, nine. Sorry, three, get on base three times. That's that's not hard. I gotta admit, I thought this was gonna be a lot harder. I thought the moments were like kind of crazy, but low difficulty, but they're not even that they're not even that crazy. Like if they wanted to make it really crazy, you would have to get like 12, you know, total bases with Ernie Banks. One yeah, ball, Fenway's not my favorite place to play at during the day with the stands that batter's eye. They just don't uh, blend in well. This one's a de definitely a moment you want to restart if you don't get it first try. Get on base. Might as well. You got to get on base three times. Don't even bother. Because you'll probably only get four at bats. There we go. Brooks doesn't get a ton of lift on the ball. The launch angles. I mean, I know I didn't really get under it, but there's just some batters. who, If you use them enough, you know what type of trajectory they usually get, even when you get under it a little bit. Yeah. It's a dot. I've noticed with the CPU, their pitch release is always very late. It's always very late. I don't get it. But they're dots. Like that, again. And I might have just screwed myself by swinging at that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, no diving play this time. All right, finally we got that one. That that took up way more, t much more time than I thought it would. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine moments done. Forty-three minutes. All right, we're gonna hit two home runs with William McCovey. Hopefully, this is just at San Francisco, and we just push it out the right field. I say push. I meant pull. Just pull it to right field. Woo! I like that little that little pimp job. Just kind of turn the shoulders, drop the bat. One more. Dead center again. I'll take that. That's like where Bonds hit his. That was exactly where Bonds hit his. Four extra base hits. Kyle Friedland, the OG CPU against CPU XP grinder pitcher that okay. you could just hit bombs off of at course field. But we're at Chase Field. Still hitting bombs off him, though. Stay fair. That is not even... That should not be a home run. That should be a swing and a miss. What am I doing? The outcome we want it. Ernie Banks? Can you get two? 65 speed. He had to cut it off, slow down his momentum. It's got to be a bad throw. It was a perfect yeah, throw. you're out. 
Oh, that's not gonna do it, is it? Ay, ay, ay. Another perfect throw, too. Jesus. There we go. 103.19, that's a little bit better. Griffey? Carrying. He's carrying right now. Man of the hour. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, I love that pitch up, too. Vita Blue, pitch three innings, strike out five batters. Do not give up one hit. No hits. So let's just try to strike out mm, everybody. There we go. That was a good idea to swing and miss at that one, too. Adley, is he better from the left side? I think he's better as a left-hander here. Oh, uh, no, never mind. He's better on this side. He's got 115 contact, 80 power. It's outside, ball four. Is that Brooks Robinson? You gotta be shitting me. They're giving me all the the actual good cards to face. That's the ball. Two and two's the count. Push, three. Oh, they put like all of the best. I think Jordan Westbury has like a tops now card. Because these cards are actually kind of decent that we're facing right now. No worries. All right, got the strikeouts done. That was easy. Uh-oh. Whew. Anytime they're going to put it in play or make contact, they get a little nervous. Because for some reason, it always seems like in these moments and showdowns, the CPU defense is amazing against you, but your defense isn't that great. Kind of noticed that. This Santander card might be the live series because he's got pretty low contact. And we finished that one. All right. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Justin Turner. All right. Johan Santana, pitch one inning. Don't give up a run. Strike out three batters. So we got to strike out the side. We just struck out like seven guys with Vita Blue. So I'm sure we can do it with Johan Santana. It says strike out the side. Oh, okay. So you don't need to... It, we can give up hits. We just can't give up runs. We just got to make sure all the outs in the inning are strikeouts. And then we don't give up a run. Inside, ball one. Runner, runner. Don't throw him out. Down Don't throw him out. Two. It's Bobby Witt. He's not going to get thrown out. Nope. Swing. Come on, man. Three. Okay. Oh, God. come on. Seriously? We jammed him? That just wasted a ton of time. Don't jam him. Just swing and miss. Three. There we go. Finally swung at it. All right. That could not have gone on any longer. We're wasting too much time. Let's see. We got 65 XP, so that means we have to do six more moments. Hit one home run with Stanton. Does the Pope shit in the woods? Meaning, are we gonna hit a home run with Stanton in one try? Yes. Oh, okay, maybe it'll take more than one, one at bat. We'll get in one try though. I think the action figure card is probably top three card arts for me, along with Milestone. And I've always liked awards. All right, what am I doing here? I don't think we will get a first try now. Oh. Thank you. All right, one hour, six minutes, 40 seconds. Enter the game against Percival, down three runs in the ninth, come away with the win. Now right, we can do that. Beautiful. Okay, that was a contact swing. Now this is just wasting time. Next one, we got pitch two innings, strike out five batters, don't give up one run. Two innings, five batters, don't give up a run. Okay. Scherzer. I think there was a moment exactly like this. It's the same exact one, different pitcher. I think I just heard the Lars Newt bar chant. They went Newt. 
like in the crowd. I actually heard that. I don't know if I have the volume turned up on enough to for you guys to hear it, but never noticed that before. No way. That was that was a swing and miss. We're gonna let him get on base so we can strike out the next guy. Three. Okay. That pitch gets a lot of online players too. They got a short strike zone, shorter player, cutter above. I three. Okay, we just struck out six batters instead. That works. That works pretty. That works pretty well. Dude, this shit's easy. Justin Turner, six bases. I mean, not a great swing, but like again, it's this shit's easy. We've gone through this this far. Should be easy enough. All right, put it right there for me. Yep. Thank you. By right there, I meant right. Right there where you put it. That was... Per you read my mind perfectly. Thank you, Cole Reagans. And we just need two more bases. Two home runs does it, too. So it's eight bases. Only needed six. Yeah, Justin Turner's swing is not that bad against a lefty. Two extra base hits from Walter... Sorry, Walker Jenkins. We'll just do that again. So long. On to the next one. Eight total bases with Jordan. I'm surprised that's not the last one. All right, so we get the first taste of this card here. I guess if you wanted to taste it earlier, you could, you know, use do this moment first. Do it again. Oh my God, that was a bomb. See where that hit? That almost went up to that second deck there. Okay, I guess we'll take a single hit, so I, I got to swing away here. Okay, fastball right down the middle. Patience is key. One more. So if you got an hour and 30 minutes on your hands, um, you can get your done pretty easily. All right, what is this? Time to unbox your best lineup and take, the, take on a team sealed with 99 overall action figures. Using your Diamond's Dynasty squad, come away with a victory in a three-inning game and cement your own Dynasty glory. Diamond Dynasty glory. Okay. Three innings, just gotta win against some pretty good cards, but we got better ones. I'm pretty sure Griffey hit a ball like that in real life, and it hit the roof. Oh, no. I think he actually hit it up into the stands. That's good enough for us, though. Soaring. Uh, skipping ahead here, we won four to one. Um, Willie McCuffey took my ass deep, but we just got it done, so we'll stop the stopwatch. Oh, we gotta spin the wheel again. Boom, and there he is. He is ours now. And I'm sure a lot of you could get this done quicker than an hour and 40 minutes, but if you got about two hours on your hands, you'll get Jordan. So let's go ahead and put him in our lineup just to see what it looks like, you know, on our God Squad and stuff. And maybe we should update our God Squad. Let's see what the best team they would give us is. This is a little Hall of Fame team I was messing around with. And let's see if we generate it. Yeah, it usually doesn't give you the best. Uh, these are pretty good cards. Johnny Bench in right field. What the hell is that? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna put Stanton out there. I like Doyle in center, we'll just keep him there. Um, but I actually like Griffey out there more. I know Jackson good, I like Jackson Holiday, uh, but I wanna go with, um, ooh, this Lindor card's pretty good too. They put Kruk on here, I'm gonna put him at first base. We know Maurer's good, but I love Posada. I have no idea why Bryson Stott's on this team. All right, let's put Jordan in the DH spot since his defense is atrocious. Even, you know, even though the rest of the card is just unbelievable. And uh, let's rock with a squad like this. You know, Tim Raines would be a good option here. I think maybe we just, I think I just wild card Jimmy. So we can go something like that. Jeter at second, Jimmy at shortstop. This is a pretty good squad. All right, so next time, you know, maybe I'll hop into co-op or ranked and use Jordan there. Where should he go in the lineup? I think four is a good spot for him. Oh, we got to have Babe Ruth too. 
All right, let me know what you guys think. If uh, if you like, you know, <laughs> how could you not like this card? But if you like Jordan Alvarez, where are you going to put him? Are you going to put him in the DH spot? Um, how do you feel about only being able to use him for like, what, three weeks? Are you going to wild card him in season three? Are we going to get a fifth wild card spot? I know they talked about it. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.